snack. They're all surviving the long winter. Maybe more snow today. It's almost April. Anyway, just got done staining or cutting and staining the last bottom board. So the mini fix stand will be on there. It's like the other ones and should blend into my dark tablecloths and then uh, later this week coming up I will finish it up do the last few um, building of the boards building of the boards there's my old uh, my old string traps I pull the stands out on they're being retired no more so it did not even last a year. They have a hole in them. The last ones I had did not get a hole. I had them for over three years. Probably more like four. Yeah. It's kind of on our 10th anniversary. Long story. And last year was 15 years, so. Hmm. Oh well. I'm just going to go with Crocs because they last. They just are a little, I feel like I'm going to fall sometimes, it's catchy. It's Monday morning here, we have 27 Hongle eBay orders, sold in instruction books for 6 bucks. Actually, typically, almost half of what I usually do on, on, uh, on eBay is really strange compared to the week I had. Not really on eBay, but on Bricklink, was, I had a really huge day, so... We'll see what happens throughout this week, but it's one of my favorite figures I have for sale. Sparks. He's awesome. Large, buildable figure. So, onward we go. Alright, here we go. Seven orders on Bricklink, nine on Brickhouse. 16 total orders, 1,200 items, 148 lots. Um, the dollar amounts are pretty bad. Just over a hundred bucks per last two days. <laughs> per day. If you want to know. Yeah, I usually don't show that anymore, but it was bad. A lot of small orders, but we'll keep pushing and uh, get it done. I'm on order number nine, the biggest one. And, uh,. A, oh, there's a note here. So I just want to go through like <laughs> it's 57 lots. There's only one more order that's more than 10 lots. So after this, I'm be done in like 20 minutes or less. It's crazy. It says, uh, "Hi, Derek. I should be all set now." Yeah, there's another order that they placed a few days ago, and they said just hold on to it um, until they order again, so I can. This, this was free shipping, I believe. This Yeah, this next order was free shipping, too, so they wanted to help me save on the shipping costs. Uh, I'm gathering parts to build some more GBC modules with my son. And we built a few modules over a year ago, and he loves it. Going a bit overboard this time, I spent the last several days juggling about a dozen wanted lists, and I've been placing orders in about 16 stores. I'll post photos eventually into our Facebook page, Ben's Brick Store. Thanks, there you go. Uh, that's something that I kind of want to do at Brickworld Chicago, do the Great Ball Contraption class, because you get all the stuff to start it, because my one middle son, he's kind of interested in it, he loves all that stuff, so, um, you know, it's possible. I mean, I have, I have free time at Brickworld Chicago, so you don't have to be open all the time, only on Saturday and Sunday, and one day during for the public, but I'll be open a lot more than that, so. We'll be getting there Wednesday. 
at like 2 o'clock on Wednesday. So they'll be open Wednesday night, Thursday, Friday, and then the public day is obviously Saturday, Sunday. <clears throat> um, oh, I'm like talking. These are not used parts we're looking for. We're looking for a new... I already broke my timer. The first order I broke the timer. It work. It works, but it's just the calculating. <laughs> it's nuts. We're good at breaking things. Tech, tech, technologically things, technical things. So if you want to see what he's building, follow that page. Two o six. I like to hear about what people are doing and seeing it. So. I better just go in there and follow it with my Pops Box on Facebook page. It's nice to do that. Final part of the day. The States. The final order was a 25 centimeter string in that. So, 16 orders. It is 6.57 a.m. on a Monday. This never happens. Um... This might be a good day for many people, but I'm a per professional. That's a little bit scary, but I had a really good week last week, so, you know, you have ups and downs, so I'm sure we'll bounce back. Stay the course, make smart buys, just keep going. Certainly probably a this year record, 2023, 7, 12 a.m., and we're post office bound. Well, they're not even open yet, so when they open. We'll head out there at some point. Whew. So that means I should have a very productive day. I need to buy Chinese set 80111 today and then plates with tomorrow. This is going to get moved over to here because I don't have very many to be built on eBay either. So I think I got to take care of the baby now. Sounds like she's up. So there's not much to do get caught up here. Three battle droids. I don't know if I have them. Oh, I have heads. I don't have torsos or bodies. That's what I didn't have. Oh, I do. I got them now. Well, I just keep running out of one part ordering it. Um, if it's a good price. I can't, couldn't find heads for a good price for a while, but then I found someone that had a bunch. I have a few, and I'll start getting more once I start buying more eBay lots. That I never really had to buy them before. I used to just like load them up in my $2 bin and they'd sell. So, all right. I do have a job pulled out over there, but the baby's sleeping, so I can't really do it. But I have these. These are the bigger um, printed and sticker pieces that I haven't have not gotten to. They're in that one drawer. So I'm going to make a file and get that. I'm going to need frickin' eyes. For this and then uh, get this cleared up and then I'll probably start sorting those and hopefully start uploading some today I mean I should be able to it's 9 a.m. so that's uh, three I have seven more hours of working minus about an hour break so I grabbed this other drawer that was overflowing with these lift arms and there's the file so far and then I had this other bag I found the other day and then I dumped it out because I had the pirate flag in there. I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. But it's apparently 6273. Like, it's not the whole thing, obviously. It's just parts to it. So um, I definitely need to be cleaning a few of these that are dusty. That's dusty. It's, yeah, it's pretty bad. So I'll probably upload this right now as well with my file. Cause just like just the major parts, nothing, nothing like these small tiny things. Just anything that I find is big and useful that I don't have a spot for. Um, like, like where was that? I have a spot for all these door things, so I don't really need to add those. Um, yeah, those keep that behind. I got a bunch of those for sale for the cannon. But, uh, huh, might as well put it for sale. So, I'm going to get this part time with upload. And then I'll leave this and put this all away later. All is done. It was actually a lot of parts of Lagoon Lockup in there, but 
I don't know. It's like eleven dollar flag, so that's that's the bonus, I guess. So there's the file. It's eighty four lots, two hundred eighteen items. I'm gonna price it up real quick. It's sixty three bucks. So I'll get this all assigned to the drawers and call that job done, and then I'm gonna get. I guess I'll show it. I have all this set up for plate sorting. So I just I pulled up this drawer. This is kind of a bunch of things that never really got sorted out correctly. These all have a drawer now right there. Um, so I'm kind of just kind of getting some of this stuff out of here. And some of this stuff I don't really have a spot for, which is probably just going to end up back into this drawer. It's kind of like, I have long, four by long plates. Actually, I forgot I do have a lot of stickers on here for a lot of this stuff. So I guess that's why I was throwing it in there. So it's just kind of four by long plates is a bad detail of that. It's just random plates, really. What it is. Um, this should just all be mostly normal plates. I just gotta kind of, I gotta get a system here. I get the smallest I should have is four by four plates. If I find three by three plates, I have. Um, do I not? Oh. Do I not have a drawer for 3x3 three three plates? I thought I did, but there's like 3x3 three three corners here. So I thought I had a drawer for them. It's possible it could be somewhere else. I just don't know where it is. I don't go into it much, but I don't think so. I guess I probably would have thrown them all in here, to be honest. So, so yeah, I'll get to this once I get this table cleared. I think I got all the sizes here. I just use brick store and kind of went line by line. And obviously, the two buys I'm ignoring, the one buys, but anything four by or bigger, I took it. And, except the eight by sixteen, I didn't do, or the sixteen by sixteen. I, that's not what I'm gonna do because typically I don't think any of those are in there, or they might be, or I know what they are. So don't need it. Don't need a bin for those. Well, I do need a bin for them, but I won't need to label it. Clear that. So, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 twelve. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got a few more. Ten, eleven, twelve. Or nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have exactly twelve empty. Some of these, and I do have a bunch of these big ones too. So, but I'll probably need big ones. Uh, not, maybe not. I mean, this is. A pretty big tote, but how many of those add up to this? I tried to rip the label off. 56 liters. And these are uh, uh, 5.7, so it, it would take almost 10 of these. So it probably can fill a lot of these up and maybe overflow a few of them for some of the sizes. Set yourself up for success. I took you know, an extra 10 minutes to think about it, get this labeled. Um, I just on a whim went that they're not going to have a lot at some of these. If I do, I can always switch it. I still have four bins down there, but I'm going to sort the four by fours as I get them. Um, I got some from that bin down there. These are four by six. This is four by ten. Yep, uh, four by ten. So I might end up having a lot more four by tens or some of them. I don't even know. I'll figure it out. This is a so this. This is 8 by 16, 1, 2, I need a, I need a measure, that's what I need to set that up to. So I have, I, don't, I have another thing like this somewhere, just don't use it a lot. See that's 15, so I can say this is definitely a 16. I think I take that off, but that would be 8 by 16, so I'm just going to throw these up here without it being labeled and just know it's the big one. So there shouldn't be any 16 by 16s in here. I usually take those out. There we go. Um, stuff like this, I should make a bin for stuff like that. I'll just leave it on the floor. Um, so yeah, it's just I need I need two hands now, so I have to shut this camera off. This must be a this is a six by sixteen. I guess I can just use that 15. It's pretty easy there, Technic. So, um, 
that one is going to be 14. And let's just verify. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There you go. There it is. There's a, I left a pile of dirt. I need to get a vacuum. But we're not ready to upload. These are all downsorted. All these are by fours, but the rest are not. Uh, this ended up being a lot. I needed another bin for the 4x10s. But everything else was pretty good. And then all the all the random stuff here that I'm gonna get this probably do this first. I'm gonna probably upload this other stuff. Here's stuff that goes with that. Put it in there and then uh, do a celebratory run, three mile run right now. It's on a Monday, I never do that. But I didn't get to go out this weekend, so I gotta go. Gotta keep it up. The first ones have arrived. Busted open some stuff here and then like an olive green helmet. Hmm. Rebel pilot Y Wing John Dutch Vander Gold Leader. Uh, that's him. Price guide used $77. So that paid for over half of that pile. Hmm. That's awesome. I have no idea what's in there. Overwhelmed, sure. It's not too bad. I'll have to start clearing stuff off. I'm just going to do the 4x6 right now. Probably go over and grab the 4x4s. Because they're all over there already sorted. Um, once I upload those, I'm going to use the bin I got them out of. Because there's just no way I'm going to find spots for all this stuff. And just plastic bag it. Mark it nice on with Sharpie. And uh, go from there. Those ones are in. Feels good. Get something done. It's just, I just inventory last six months ago. I just um, $61 at and sixty-four items and 18 lots. So I ended up in my uh, um, plate spin. This is what's called I'm just marking it as plate spin. Or one, two, four different colors. Let's see how that works. Anything in huge quantity. I did put some in the shoe boxes over there too. Uh, a couple of these I had higher quantity. It just doesn't make sense to fill up these big drawers with plates all the time. I mean, obviously, there's some here, but I'm going to take them out of there and move them. Uh, so obviously, I probably have the, some more of those dark tan ones like that one. Done. So, when I get to that, when I get to these ones, I'll probably move them, maybe, if it makes sense. Um, so, first upload, about done here. By four plates, and I added uh, these ones too. I just... I just have a bunch of just random ones here, so I'll just grab them. I felt like I had room to get them. 26 lots, 40 more dollars, and that's clear. Now we're down to this, nothing else. So, oh, these. I should start doing some bigger things. Probably clear up that, just clear all that up, and then figure out from here. Big parts. I did actually have a couple 16 by 16s, two white and green, so those are. Like almost three bucks each. Um, nothing else too valuable. They're just, you know, they're bigger pieces, so they are more than a small piece. So it's 67 bucks in this little upload. 35 lots, 59 items. All these plates here. And I'm going to get onto this one. Probably take that one with this one. So it's just kind of just trying to clear the table. Like that can stay till tomorrow because it's, it's almost three o'clock. So. Um, I'll be able, definitely be able to get that done and maybe one more quick upload. I, I kind of want to stop at 3.30, head to the post office. It's kind of kind of a chill day for a Monday, and I'm liking it. So I just want to get that done. And then I have to prep. Well, in the morning after I do. I've actually got a couple of nice orders already. Over a $100 order with pirates. It's like 19 lots, but mostly just pirates I uploaded. So... Um, Hopefully I'll get done with shipping by 8 o'clock tomorrow. Maybe, hopefully 9. I don't know. Maybe that'll be better. Um, so there's that. And then all the new minifig stuff is just going to sit there for... Well, I'll probably move it. Because this is what's happening tomorrow. Uh, after I get all that uploaded is figuring out how to do this. These are all sealed bags of parts. So they're all new. 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this table here and then that. I brought this other table because I didn't know how much room I need. Um, both these tables over here and just part out one bag at a time and then bring over those pieces and put it in the right spot. So, man, I, these are some really good mini fig buys. I see it and I guess get distracted. Like, that helmet was in there. So this is 150 and this was 100. Well, I don't know, I don't know, I kind of got mixed, so it's 250 worth of parts actually here. And this was 50 mini figs for 100 bucks with this. Um, Zam Weasel legs look amazing. Uh, you know, but it's just, oh, I just actually need that hair. I don't have any of those hairs, so I can complete a figure with that. So, and then obviously this one, worth almost $80. That is amazing. I think I'm gonna get them for sale. Because I'm not gonna put them on eBay. Stuff, expensive ones like that, rare ones like this, actually do sell better on Bricklink, uh, amazingly. Um, he looks great. I mean, it's just, it, literally, this is only the helmet that makes this exclusive. This is a common head, a common torso, and a common, I mean, I wouldn't call them super common, but they're, they're used in other figures, so they're not exclusive. That's what it, it means, so. I mean, I have a ton of that stuff, so let's get them for sale. Actually, the competition is pretty great on Bricklink, so he's going to eBay because there's only one for sale on eBay, and it's 95, so I can easily beat that by a good amount and still cover the fees, the difference in the fees, so there we go. Be my final upload of the day. I'm in baby duty again, so. Uh, 67 lots this time, $56, so gotta get this put away, and then uh, kind of reorganize some of this over to this area. I might get that glued onto the board tonight. The board is ready. Um, I don't plan on finishing it till Thursday, the whole thing, but uh, I may be able to just do that. I don't know. Um, it doesn't take long to glue it. Not about drilling holes under the, in the, into the plates underneath. Where the, where the glue, the construction adhesive can just kind of go up into the Duplo some because it's pretty flat. I do sand it, but I'm just afraid. I mean, it's it's only really glued to these plates, so that you know it still can come apart. But it's a solid on a board, so there's not much movement on it. This file, um, I added all these as six by sixes and not six by eights. I guess I can quickly just change it here, actually. Um, I don't know what number it is. Well, I guess I'm look on the back. Uh, four one five three nine. Right. Oh wait, there's a couple numbers on here. Four two five three four. Let's not look at an old one. Uh, four one five three nine. Okay, so four one five three nine. There we go. I can just change it all. So I didn't. Okay, four one five three nine. All the counts are still good. I just have to rerun my file here, or my copy the values. I didn't move anything, I don't think. Otherwise, it's going to erase that. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy these. Whoops. I'm going to copy them to a new full file over here, just in case I did, um, I did run... And I already ran a program. Or, 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 it's just in case I moved a moved a moved a remark code, and it'll erase it back to what it was from my store. So, so here we go. These ones, yeah, I'm gonna put them back where I just had them. So everything's good. All those eight by eights from six by sixes uh, changed the price drastically. It's up to seventy two. Like did I didn't reverse that. It was at fifty six. So it's at 16 extra dollars. So I don't know what's worth a lot here, if anything. Just like this, I guess they're all just worth more. So, very nice. Tuesday morning here. One, two, three, four, five, four in there. It's nine, 10, 11 items on eBay. Thank you, Abraham. All right, so I had a really poor weekend of sales. Um, there's 17 orders, 
and they're over fifty dollars on average each. So, um, yeah, I guess the weekend caught up with me. Three hundred nineteen lots, one thousand forty-seven items, a ton of pirate stuff. It's really wild. I think three orders had a lot of pirate expensive stuff in it. So maybe two, and one was a Lego set. But um, yeah, this is great. The order number three got that Pirates poster that I got recently from someone. Sold that. Um, two pirate cooks. A couple treasure chests. Two of these admirals. I think these are like $24 each. This, that guy. Some other figures. So this is like a $175 order. 11 lots. It, uh, yeah. That's an amazing order. They were excited to get free shipping, so that was nice. Um, this is a cool poster in there. So, wow. <laughs> that was a good order. Here's the Lego set we sold. Six, three, nine, four. Sticker, sticker things in here, they're like just together like that. Yeah, good stuff. There is less lots than the other pirates figure order, but more monetarily. First one is this gem. It looks, it literally looks display only, so that's how I listed it as used, but you cannot even tell it's used, to be honest, other than the fact it's put together and it was found in a used lot, so, uh, we got that one, here he is, here's his friend, his twin, twin brother, 188, this is a female pirate, Oh, they did ask for some muskets. Is one of these guys? Okay. 832 is 8. Way down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is all I can hold in one hand, I guess. And my camera's gonna die. Six of I'm filming a clip. Shh. I have not uploaded Bionicle for uh, quite a few months, but it's still fell. I still have stuff in the store, so nice order. Some masks in there. NSB1. These all packaged together. I think I have three of these in there. This order is just just for Mario. One Mario. What happened in the Pirates Realm in Lego that I don't know about? I mean, these are for sale all Friday morning. So, oh, this is the third order. Brick Owl got into the, the fold. It's a third of the value of the other one. Nothing really expensive, but still, there they go. Sold all the uh, 2023 city sticker sheets that Caleb from Cheesy Studio sent me now. So, actually, no, I didn't sell the Gamer Van ones, I don't think. But that one is. I believe a new one. Does this say 2023? No, this one is one of the new ones. And this one is. This order. Part of the day, how fitting it goes to a longtime viewer of the channel, and it was part of a clip art. I can't, I have one arm right now, so I'm gonna hold it with a part of one arm. I guess I'll just take the drawer out. Drawer 861. I found the gold mine. That's the last part. Uh, it's 31 lot order, so awesome. Thank you for the support as always. It's so cool to see the names come through that I recognize. And anyone that watches these channels 
you just go to Pops, or this channel, PopsBlockShop.com, you can link to all the stores and buy whatever you want. I have tons of stuff for sale. I mean tons of it. And it keeps growing and I have more and more coming, so keep it up. And the room just keeps going over there, back there, there. Oh man, that's crazy. Done shipping. Let's just say that this Tuesday shipping was what it should have been on Monday, and then what I did on Monday was today's Tuesday, which was poor. Then I can be like, I had a good weekend. Everything's fine. Everything's normal, because that definitely brought us back to normal. Um, anyway, i got to finish this plates job, then I have minifigs. Uh, i got four brick bricklink orders behind the wall on the table with all the, the two eBay lots that I've purchased. So. Uh, people always ask me, where do I get all my minifigs? I, I just buy a, a lot on Bricklink. Uh, in the beginning, I bought a lot on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. You just It's literally a part-time job try finding stuff. Like You just don't run into it. You have to spend hours and hours a day um, or just be on it every 15 minutes check, every 20 minutes check. It's not easy. But, but I worked... I worked a full-time job. I had a work computer here and I would sit here and shop while I worked. So I had that option I worked at home so that's kind of how I did it. Um, Alright so I think this is a group. I, d I just realized I didn't get my other plates over here. I think I had a bunch. Uh, oh no! I did not have a bunch. I just have a few in the bottom of that one. You can't even see it. There's only like 20 big plates in there. So I'll leave those alone. Keep stacking them up for next time. And we'll get on to the 4 by 10s 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 4x10s. I gotta make sure I have them all because this should be a mock. I, had, I filled up two of these, so this definitely looks like that amount. And that's a 4x8 which are all right here. That'll be the next group. First batch of the day. Uh, 30 lots, 293 items. So these are just the 4x10s and the 4x8s. We're gonna price them up. $67, what's the, the good one here? Oh, the, so a dark red 4x8 plate is $2.15. Then a 4x10 light gray, 4x10 red, kind of higher on the higher end. So, that one right there is over two bucks. Put away, and I have three different sizes here. That'll be this group, and then three more sizes left there. So, two more batches of uploads. This one's gonna be small, it doesn't look like there's many. I guess there's a double row back there, but these are kind of on top of each other. And these have singles in there, so yeah, it's going fast. Three group there looks like this now. Um, this whole group is in its own bag. I, I guess I didn't label it. So it's six by six by sixteen. I gotta label that. Um, six by six, six by ten, and then those are left. It's just after nine. Cleared up. Uh, this is my highest monetary upload of plates so far, and one of the lowest quantity amounts. Ninety-three, sixty-seven. So let's check out the plates bin. It's getting there. I only have uh, a few more to put in. I mean, I have room. Definitely have room. I don't want to overstock stuff at where I can't. It's hard to get to stuff. Um, so these will definitely go in there. There'll be a bag for those and a bag for probably all of those. We'll go in there. It's just too big to put in. I guess I can shoebox some of that stuff. I've really been staying away from the shoeboxes because I have this bin. I might just leave it here. Because I don't really use this area. This is just my convention stuff. I had a thought of putting it back in my storage area there. But then I'd be walking there a lot. So it's probably going to go there. Um, it'll sell out eventually. But we are adding a lot of new lots. There's hardly anything that I had in here. I mean, not 20% of it, so it's not a, not a crazy amount, but you can do a check. 
16,550 lots. That is created. Had some leftovers, different sizes from before. Put those in the other bin for next time. And uh, this is 38 lots, 230 items. Let's see the dollar amount on this one. 112. Wow. What is the big money maker here? Oh, there's a four dollar and seventy-five cent six by fourteen. That one in there, that red one. And then dollar fifty, dollar fifty, dollar thirty is a lot over a dollar. Quite a few. The six by fourteens are, I guess, probably more rare. I don't make them all the time. So that's that's a really easy uh, uh, upload. Actually, I gotta pull in my store. Um, all of them are going in the the plates bin together. One happy family. So let's see what I pull in the remarks. If I need to find any. So I do I gotta go back sort of back. So I do have a 6x14 in USB 7. Don't know how many I have in there. But this should be easy to see. So basically just the one. So throw that in there and then all I have to do to add all these to that plates bin is go all the way down here and type in plates bin enter. Now they're all remarked to that and those are done. Upload button. I cannot believe at 9.39 a.m. on a Tuesday here that that big job was done. I thought it was a big job. This, this is full of plates, and now they're organized and put for sale. It's good for me. So now it's time to get on to just uh, maintaining the eBay store stuff with uh, sprinkling orders. So, and then from there, we have to pull this out and start figuring out how to organize this as I part things out. Orders here. Got the bugle. I think that's all we were needing left to we get to the second verification stage. So I'll throw it in that bag and then sit it on the parts bin over there. And <clears throat> Usually I like to do this when I have a couple. Because what I'll do is I'll put the... Actually, I may just put this on Bricklink because there's not very many on there. So think about it but still got double verify I'll decide at that time. And Brickow ordered four of these and they said they got three of them and one without an axle hole. So I looked in there and this was in there with these. So when I uploaded them I didn't uh, verify that they're all the right ones. There's another one so I gotta audit this, this drawer or just these parts in the drawer and correct the quantity now. So I sent the right one now, and uh, looks like I found two. Two that are wrong. Still, that I could have made another mistake on. So it was a four-dollar mistake. I'm gonna pay shipping again, but there's a couple more. We'll get it fixed, and now we know for next time. Make sure you check that. And uh eBay bulk lot, we, uh, we found that $75 that Y-Wing pilot. We found those legs and that helmet, and I had the other parts. It's Zam. I thought it was, I don't know why I put Zeb, but I have a few more parts. The legs, for some reason, are really hard to find in good condition. So, And the helmet's like 8 to 10 bucks. So that's a nice find. That's nice. That, those two figures basically paid for all 113 I bought. Overlord Legacy. We just shipped one out this morning and it came in this eBay lot. <laughs> it's just my luck is I've been very lucky with this first purchase. It's been great. <laughs> so good stuff. Got that. Got all these built from the first order and then I found this in there. You know, I found the wings in my thing so that's that what is this from here we go. This is from a minifig galore store. Oh man, this is make me try to open it. He taped it up good. He's reusing some sort of tape here. I don't know what kind of tape this is. 
what this is, but I got so many parts here. What did I come here for? Um, to be honest, I have no idea. I thought I ordered more than Oh, I came here for these legs. You had the one of the best prices for those legs, so. JDX will be completed. Um, I think he's like 40 bucks now. I don't know. I haven't sold them in probably six months. I haven't had the parts, so really hard to find. Here. All these, every part I use to complete a figure. So we had one part, head there too. I just sold him this morning, so I'll, I did not have a tile. I had everything else. That's the last of him. Three parts, four parts on the helmet, five, six, the head and torso, seven was the head, eight was the torso, nine was the torso. Let's go to convention. But yeah, awesome. Good job. Everything's great. Sorter on the package had Beaverdale bricks. I don't know if I've ever ordered from them before. Maybe I did. Well, they got that bag right all the parts together. I gotta, well, it's cool to bag many figs separate. Got a golem. It's got, it's got a blank purple torso. I think I came here for the shredder things. So I was out of those. The arm or the shoulder pads. And they had a bunch of stuff that I needed, so. Uh, speed racer. I know I need that one. He's speed racer, racer white. There's the blue one. That'll be complete. Black future, and I think I just found a torso of that, so I got that completed. These are extras. I just got some in the pre one of the first order I opened today, so. I sold all I had and then I needed some more, so. Now we have more. So get through this one. And we have this order that has some freebies in it. And this one. And then we'll be moving on to the parts section of the day. So I'm gonna speed through this. This uh, gently used. Yeah. We'll go with that. Just a little, little bit used, not much. To the next order. I have a pile of stuff that I had to ask for refunds on or replacements. So I always have to check these because these these are faked or you know just knockoffs. That one has a Lego. I see it all in there. Probably can't read it, but this one does not have that. And the the, the um, plastic composite looks a little different. So fortunately, I have to ask for a refund on that one. That's why I came to the store because I'm trying to get a couple of those. Um, I think that looks good, but that's a bummer. Uh, 53 cents. Just gonna let that one go. That's okay. Four cent wild style because the torso has marks on it. So I needed a hair and a head. <laughs> and then uh, a two dollar and 31 cent downhill skier, which I don't have for sale. So I'm gonna attempt to see if I have all the rest of the parts. I don't think I do. Um, so one set. Oh, she has magenta skis. And I'm pretty sure I have two white poles. Uh, oh, I probably I think I just sold these skis though. Uh, yeah, I don't have magenta, but I have these. I have five white. So how much are the magenta? They're 80 cents each. So we'll definitely get that completed. Uh, I'll just double check and see if I have any that I didn't list for sale. No, I just sold them out. But I believe I can find two white ski poles in here without having... Oh, actually I keep ski poles in there, but I, I just put them all for sale. I used to put them in here too, so... This, this drawer needs help still. It needs to be organized better. They do have like a... A microphone spot. There's a lot of microphones in here. All these shots I'm going to put with this gun. I think I'm going to put a divider right here to put all the shots in with that gun because that's where I mostly use them. Um, here's a white ski pole. And the ski pole should all go into here with this. Maybe I need another. Oh, ski poles are in that one. Maybe I need another drawer for that stuff to kind of get it down better. Oh, is that a, oh, that's the series 15 female Indian. So I like to put the stuff in the where it goes too. There's a lot of the stuff can go like series eight DJ. Now if you own the series eight, 
because that's where I'll be going to get the parts. Oh, here's the other ski pulley. There's a bunch in there actually. So I'm going to leave this here and probably do that today or tomorrow morning. So all we need is the magenta skis, 80 cents each, and we'll have a complete CMF there. Final order. Uh, <laughs> this seller um, was featured as a Bag Wars contestant multiple times in the past until they realized I had a YouTube channel and started watching it. And realized that they were part of that and they didn't know it so no <laughs> it was a good it was a good inside joke thing or that's inside joke i don't know but look at all this great stuff they have they always send me a 10 percent off coupon which i haven't placed an order for a while in their store but got some great stuff got some pirate heads i end up not needing um but i definitely need that head right there and the captain red beard i think i still have some but Awesome, we get through this, got a pile of completes here, and then we'll move on and clear all this off and transform the room. I'll actually have to rebuild what I sold to, as well from my eBay store, which shouldn't take too long. There's not much stuff here. Alright, this is what I was talking about. One purchase. I think they kind of got mixed a little bit, but nevertheless. I'm able to just put that with them. This is like all the stuff I want to take out. I guess. I don't know. I'm not going to really do anything with this. It's Tuesday at lunch. So I'll probably get to this Thursday. And there may, there actually will be more stuff here tomorrow. So this is kind of the, the idea is to kind of get to this, it's, get to this point where get a few things, process with them, and get them. More things later. So, all these drawers are clear, so. <clears throat> just, uh, just, like I, just like I planned it. This time, look at this. There's this guy brand new in there. Right on, dude. Saw some super, super battle droids in there. And, and one of these bags brand new. There's an Alfred in there. I don't know why I never opened a lot of these, but now I'm happy I didn't, because now we will reap the rewards. All these things have gotten more expensive. That's those guys. The Monster Fighters bag, I'm, I just have to clean off my dishes. But I'm just going to grab a bag and open it and get some drawers lined up and just start sorting one bag at a time. That's how I want to do it. One bag at a time, and then I may take the parts behind me to those tables I've set up over there. Uh, with whatever I have and have them all in their bigger categories over there. Lots of uh, super battle droid parts. This, this is a good bag. Brand new Red Hood. Can't complain about that. One of the better bags of the day. There we go. I don't have the dinosaur though. I think I had them in there. I already sold them. I think. What's oh cool? Is that 243? I'm just going to go ahead and try to pack these five orders up. Madam 160 Dupree, lots. They have to go to the post office still. Maybe I'll get them out today. We'll see. Final order here, and the first part is in the plates bin. I'm guessing all of them are in the plates bin. So let's just check it. I can hit C to clear it. Plates bin. Oh no, the 707 is too. I'll just grab these well. Only two of the parts are in the plates fit. Which I'll have to go back and grab. The USB 24 is five. But it's cool to see that. Oh, it's the second time I saw it actually. There was an order this morning uh, that had had some. Five. And then we go back. 21 of those. And we'll get this done. There you go. Max Saturn is closing out the day. The awesome band Max Saturn, you know. Check them out. Not to show how this is gonna work. So here's my plates bin. It's marked four by four. I believe they probably bought them all. It's hard to do this with one hand, but it says I have zero left. So I think I just did that this morning. So I'll take my word for it. Four by eight is eight. So then, now I gotta find the 4x8s. Which 
again it's hard to do with one hand or by eight. so they too are in the, in the bag all by themselves actually ready to go I can count those one two three four five six seven eight all right, I'm ready to head to the post office. This is, uh, I did this for about a little over an hour, and my son did it for two and a half hours total. So, nice part, I've got lots of good minifigs. This is what's left, so we did almost, well, I wouldn't say half of it because we saved all the small, well, the small bags we could without minifig parts in it. We're gonna do those at the same time. Um, just because it's smaller parts and we can easily down sort them but easier than trying to sort it to all the big stuff so lots of plates lots of modified brick type things regular bricks one by plates is it two by plates I don't know it's just it's all the technic pens the yellow technic pens um, it's just a science you got to figure it out it's a science I don't know what works best for you to how to sort the first sort we didn't want too many uh, spots. We got more, probably twice as many as I thought we'd have. I thought we were just going to use like 10 of these. But no, there's no way to do it that way because you just have too much sorting ahead after that. So anyway, until tomorrow.